Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make another recipe from the Nerdy Nummies cookbook, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Gems and stones can be found in so many different video games, including one of my favorite games, Zelda. You collect little rupees. So today we are gonna be making rupee hard candies. The recipe is a simple hard candy recipe, which you can dye to be different colors, and we're gonna be using the mold from my baking line. We're gonna be using this shape. This gem shape is a hexagon, which means it has six sides, and it's the most similar looking to a rupee. I just love this gem mold. It's so cute, and it has shapes that I have been wanting for a really long time. And side note, you guys, our swirl silicone mold was trending number one on Amazon for molds. If you wanna help this mold become number one mold on Amazon, I'll put a link down below, because if this becomes number one, then the poo mold becomes number two. <laughs> in the book, I dyed the rupees red, blue, and green because I felt those were the most iconic, but I really love this recipe because you can make them any color you want. Today, we're gonna be making the same hard candies with the same colors, but I'm gonna be using different flavors. Let's get started. The things you'll need to make these hard candies will be a mold. I'm using the mold from my baking line and I'm only gonna be using the hexagon shapes. For the recipe, you'll need three cups of sugar, three fourths cup water, one cup, of light corn syrup, one teaspoon of blueberry oil, one drop of blue dye, one teaspoon of strawberry oil, one drop of red dye, one teaspoon of green apple oil, and one drop of green dye. Now let's put it all together. The ingredients in front of me is enough to make three different colors. I like to make mine one at a time because when you're working with hot candy, I don't like to separate it and move it around too much because it's just so hot. The first thing that we're gonna do is take a third of our sugar, water and corn syrup and pour them into a pot. For our sugar, that means we'll need one cup. Then we'll need a quarter cup of water and a third cup of corn syrup. Whoa, there we go. Then add the one drop of food coloring. I'm gonna start with green because I'm wearing a green shirt and the flavoring that we're using is apple and I just love apple hard candy, so. We're gonna start with the good stuff. It's all good, but this is just like my favorite. Use a toothpick to scoop it in, mix together until all the sugar is wet. Now we'll take this sauce pot over to the stove. Place your pot onto the stove, turn the heat to medium, and allow the sugar to completely dissolve. Once dissolved, place the candy thermometer into your pot and cook the candy until it reaches 275 degrees. Then turn off the stove heat and take your candy syrup back to the baking station. Once you take your hard candy off the stove, pour immediately into a heat safe container with a pour spout at the end. And before we pour the candy into the mold, add your flavoring. I'm using green apple. Whisk together, work that flavoring in there. Oh yeah! Now pour your hot candy syrup into your mold and be careful because it's very hot. I'm only filling them about two thirds because I want them to be a little bit more bite size. Once you've poured the candy, let them sit for 45 minutes to harden. While this sits, I'm gonna make a couple more batches using our other colors. You can do it this way if you have multiple molds. Otherwise, just wait till they've hardened and repeat. I've given the candies plenty of time to harden. To pop them out, it's super easy. This is one of the reasons why I love silicone molds because they're bendy. Tug this way, tug, 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 stretch it out and the other way. Then flip it upside down and pop them out. <gasps> These look amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now do this for the rest of your candies. Ta-da! There you have it. Here are the rupee hard candies that we made today. The recipe is from the Nerdy Nummies cookbook, but we switched the flavorings. We made green apple flavored, blueberry, and strawberry. One of the things that I love about hard candy recipes is it's very customizable. You can make your hard candies any colors you'd like and any flavor. Growing up, one of my favorite candies were Jolly Ranchers, so I love making a homemade hard candy recipe. Easy peasy, bite size, and delicious. Nom, 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 nom. I'll be taking lots of pictures and posting the recipe on rosannapanzito.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, so you can check it out there. And if you guys make these little hard candies, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please Please let me know, leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again you guys, bye bye. 
and now a little candy for me. I'm gonna have a green apple one. Growing up, my favorite Jolly Ranchers were green apple and watermelon. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Jolly Rancher flavor is. Mm-hmm.